And over Fayetteville's mask ordinance got one man arrested for criminally trespassing during last night's city council meeting. Five News reporter Katherine Gilker tells us what led to his arrest and the issues surrounding the city's ordinance. I'm going to have to ask y'all to leave. Everybody Ma doesn't have a mask on. Has to Mayor go. Fayetteville police arrested James Smith of Prairie Grove last night after refusing to leave. Fayetteville City Attorney Kit Williams says this wasn't the first time Smith has tried to get arrested for violating the city's mask ordinance. He was eventually had to be arrested not just for not wearing a mask but for basically for trespassing. He had been told to leave by the mayor and he refused. He was told and warned by the police chief that if he did not leave, he would be committing criminal trespass. This is audio of the conversation between Police Chief Mike Reynolds and James Smith. Williams says the only exception they make to the mask requirement during city council meetings is if the person has a legitimate medical condition and says Smith gave a medical reason that wasn't factual. He says Smith isn't a Fayetteville resident, but he would have been given the chance to speak if he'd followed the rules. If they'd worn masks, they could have come and addressed us and do whatever they want to, or they could have uh, used the, uh, the phone and zoomed in and still address the city council without ever having put a mask on. So they just chose instead to violate the law to make a point. Again, you'll hear Chief Reynolds and Smith. You can see them at the bottom right of your screen. Smith is asking Reynolds to be charged with violating the mask ordinance and wants to pay a $500 fine. I want the prosecuting attorney to enforce the mask mandate. You guys pass the mask mandate. I expect you to enforce the law. We're in Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. Smith was booked into the Washington County Jail, later released. The Fayetteville Police Department does enforce the mask ordinance, but they say fining people is something they don't like to do. They prefer to educate people on the ordinance. No, it's